All right, hello, hello, hello. So first of all, yes, been a while since I've been able to do that uninterrupted. And now I can turn this on. Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. So we're in an exciting point right now. We just have our first proper bit of power gen. I need to put away some of this stuff. Actually, do I have my oil industry in a box back with me? Or at least the remnants of it? But yes, now that we have a proper oil industry, all that's left is to start properly hooking it up into our systems and utilizing it. So, we are going to need a lot more HV connectors and relays to do that. I did not make enough of those, and I'm going to need to gather up some aluminum in order to do so. Where's my axe? There's my axe. Well, nothing to it but to start doing it, I suppose. Yes. This is uh, this is probably going to be a little bit of a maintenance episode, I suppose. Oh, wait, the garlic's pretty much fully grown, isn't it? It is. All right, that's always exciting. Let's just dig up the whole thing. Might as well have it doing a fresh start for us. Must maintain our health. There we go. Yes. It's unfortunate that I don't have the supplies on hand. I'm just going to have to go grab some aluminum after I sort away all this stuff. But I suppose that's life. All right, so you can go in there, you can go in there. Eh, mm. let's consider you, well, you're kind of a technical block. Okay. Metal barrel. Are you full of anything? You're not full of anything. I'm full of something, I'll tell you what. Oh, hey, Prince, hello! No, you're right on time. You are right on time from my perspective, my friend. Okay, so yeah, I have tons of HV wire. I just need to make some more relays and connectors to properly utilize them. Now, this bitumen, is this bitumen actually useful for anything? Anything whatsoever? It looks like it's mostly chisel and bit stuff. Wait, what was that? Immersive vehicles, okay. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly chisel and bit stuff that this goes into. Hmm, potion of gigas. And that looks interesting. But that's all stuff that we can't exactly access right now. I guess let's put the bitumen in there. Yeah, put it in miscellany for the moment. Kind of intermediaries. Okay, that's everything a bit more neatened up. With some exceptions. And let's just go... Let's grab a little bit of aluminum off one of the ships. That would probably be the easiest source. So, which ship have we not fully excavated yet? I remember this one. I only excavated the copper off this one. It should still have all its ore and stuff still there. Let's put our voltmeter away. Before I throw it out again. All right, so how you doing this evening, Prince? Or morning, or whatever time it is. Schedules are a bit of a difficult thing. And I'm not wearing my... I'm not wearing my air tank, but I'm wearing my tank tank. And we won't be doing a lot of underwater work. And th this thing is already lit up anyway, so we won't be doing a lot of monster slaying work either. But that's life. Should I fully excavate this ship? Eh, nah. Okay. Just a nice fat pile of ores. That's what we need right now. Everyone has those moments where they need a good ore. You heard me. 
Oh, about 3 p.m. for you. Lovely. Well, this is kind of a, a wind down from the from the afternoon for you then. That's always nice. Alright. Yeah, there should be some yeah, that's bauxite, I think it is. So that that'll be aluminum. But let's at least excavate all the ores out. Just so that they're out of the way. Kind of control our direction there so we get nice even chunks out of it, just for the sake of OCD. Gets us a little bit of redstone too, that might be useful. I mean, after all, I might have... I might have... Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, just turning 8 over here for me. And I've been up for a few hours recording a... <laughs> oh, you'll, you'll love this. I recorded the grand finale of Breath Edge. I just recorded the last episode of the main plot. I still have a DLC to play through, but it looks like it's going to be tiny. But, um... Yeah, I, I recorded the grand plot wrap-up, the grand finale of Breath Edge, and I just realized, while I was watching the credits, I looked over at my OBS, and I realized I still had the last stream's chat overlay still up, recording the whole time. Oh, uh, and unfortunately, it looks like I can't return to a previous save and re-record that episode, so... Grand Finale Breath Edge is just going to have the stupid chat overlay with Riley's misspellings on it that whole time. Won't that be wonderful and dramatic? But yes, it's just turning 8 a.m. right now. Um, I should be good to go until around 10 or so. In terms of the rest of the house waking up and making noise. Yeah, most of the people around here ain't ain't morning people, thankfully. It means that they kind of stay up late though, but that's life. Oh boy. Okay. Well, got ourselves a lovely pile of resources to sort away here. Yeah, just stacks of those. Good, 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 good. And tin, gold, iron. All the rest of you are more ingoty type things. Yes, our definition of ingot is a little bit wide, but that's that's fine. Not as much aluminum as I was hoping for there. Hmm. Oh well, it should be enough. It should be enough to get us by. Relays are pretty cheap after all. Like, I think that, yeah, they come eight at a time. It's fine. So let's take out what we have. Let's take out our glass. Thankfully, we made lots of that. We're also going to need the terracotta, because I'm going to want a couple of connectors. Do I have any more terracotta in stock? I don't think I do. Do I have any clay off the compactor? No, I don't. Well, let's just throw a couple stacks in. Hello, Blood Devon. Good morning, good evening, good whatever time it is. What's your problem? You're loaded up with raw netherrack chunks. That should compact. Hmm. Oh, I still record videos. Uh, um, in fact, um, what's going up on the playlist is going to be the hard recordings. I'm I'm recording and streaming at the exact same time right now because looking at it in post, the hard recordings come out a lot better than than the um than the stream does. So yes, uh JBTA the playlist will still be uploading. And in fact, these streams that I'm recording right now will be future episodes. This one we're recording right now is episode 35, I believe. Uh, nothing has happened since the last stream. I didn't record uh, any new Breath Edge last night. Yesterday, whatever time you want to call that. I didn't have an opportunity to stream last time. So this is straight off of us building the diesel generator. And right now I'm just building a bunch of new... 
I'm building a bunch of new HV wire relays and connectors in order to start hooking it up to our base. Which is just what I was fetching this aluminum for. But yes, uh, the Breath Edge playlist will very much still be updating on the same schedule. And these streams that we are doing right now will be episodes. Just the same as any other, just, um, just with the chat overlay recorded as part of them. And in fact, they will be the hard recordings are what will go up. Okay. Um, let's let's see here. Let's do yeah. Let's do just one more set of those eight HV connectors is hopefully enough, and then I can do this. Let's just do there. Ah, okay. Get as many relays as we can. Good. That should hopefully be sufficient. And put everything away. We have a little bit more aluminum in storage and just in case. Alrighty then. So, let's decide how we're going to want to lay out... Oops. How we're going to want to lay out our power grid. So I think that I'm definitely going to want to be running the power grid underground. I'm not going to want those very dangerous, very damaging HV cables going all around the land and have Riley's 80 deaths to them. Let's learn our lessons from the mistakes Riley has made. Yeah. No, I didn't bring my voltmeter with me. But yes, for right now, just running this thing in like short little bursts just to build up a little bit of... It looks like we're building up way more diesel than this thing consumes. Ah, yes, also. Also, that reminds me. We need to change how this thing hooks up because... Yes, I did look in the config files and... I determined that the capacitors... Uh, or the HV connectors have a power limit of... Oh, I forgot to grab my cables. Anyway. Uh, the HV connectors can only take in or out 4,000-ish RF per tick, while the diesel generator outputs 5,000. Yes, yes, we're going to try. We're going to try to avoid some deaths to cables. Or at least we're going to design around our idiocy as best as possible. We all know the best laid plans of mice and men, though. I'm sure that I will zap myself plenty. But yes, yes. These HV... Uh, these HV connectors, we're going to need two of them coming off of each generator, as well as two of them going into uh, each initial relay. Thankfully, their transfer rate is plenty fast. They can transfer a lot of electricity. It's just the connectors themselves that are slow. So, let's see here. Where's my hammer? Over there. So, we need a blue one there. So, we have one connection from the downside. And now we'll have one connection from this side. And now we can have two connections going off. And yeah, that was an orange on that one. Just into that relay. And there, that should do it. And even then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, if I really want to, when I'm ready for it, I can take a comparator, like right down here, and I can run redstone from it off of... Uh, down to the redstone control of the generator, and that will make this self-controlling. Uh, once I have a comparator to put on there, that should give it the ability to to uh, self-regulate. So that's a nice design, I think. Okay, so... Our first task... I think... I'd actually like to move my copper pump jack, because I have another vein of liquid copper. Was it... Molten silver... It's somewhere around here. Molten aluminum. 
I have a vein of, there it is, a vein of liquid copper right here. So that's a little bit more, that's a little bit more in line with the direction leading to the house, a little bit closer to our initial power grid. So that's where I would like to move the copper pump jack. So, yeah, okay, this vein is, we're gonna have to move our trees. It might be time to cut down the tree farm. And I definitely don't want to keep any of these jungle pods in my inventory anymore. I'm fairly certain they're what lost me my inventory in the last butterfly incident. Which I think should be the episode that is going up today on the playlist. Yes, I had another incident with the butterflies. Hmm... I should make, like, a meme video about just how stupid I am for dying to butterflies. Like, uh... Hmm... What kind of meme could I make out of that? Something stupid, no doubt. But those are the best kinds of memes. Oh? Oh what, Blood Devon? Okay, da, 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 da. let's keep all this jungle wood. In fact, I might want to put this in the sawmill right away. Because you can't really turn the, um, you can't really turn the sequoia wood into fences very easily. You just gotta keep searching, Prince. It you'll find you'll find it eventually. But yes, I did get very lucky that I have a lot of good veins right next to home, as well as right next to where I put my new power system. Okay, let's keep those jungle pods just in case I want to start a new tree farm. And let's repair our shovel while we're here. Actually, if I'm making a big long maintenance corridor, this might be a good time to build. An excavator. Yeah, let's let's consider doing that. Cause I'm gonna be digging through a lot of dirt right now. Yeah. Okay, excavator. Uh duh. Okay, I need to make a pattern for an excavator head. Mm. Oh, I have lots of useless veins around. I have lots of repeats. I have lots of... I have lots of just things I have no use for. But I, I've been keeping tabs on what my most useful ones are, and I scanned... Um, Let's see, how far did I scan? Yeah, you, 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 oh, you can kind of see it on the map even. Yeah, I scanned about down to like several layers of the map before I found everything I needed. But I have a couple of interesting prospects. Like I have a vein of liquid iron and a vein of liquefacted coal right next to each other. So I have a kind of pre-made steel, steel supply for me right there. I only put in two ingots of gold, didn't I? Oh, oh, that's the problem. That's the problem, I'm an idiot. I forgot to put this in. That's fine, it happens. Oh, we're, we also need to put in some copper for a tough tool rod. Uh, I don't have any copper, ah, oh, no, there it is. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, uh, the great scanning of the veins was the next time lapse that I did. I, I decided just to fast forward through all that when it came up on the playlist. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle future time lapsing. I mean, hopefully it is going to be just that 
I don't have to do it anymore. You know, I really, I'd really like JVTA to be the series that I never have to edit, but, uh, I guess if it needs to be done, it needs to be done in the future just to get over long, boring sections of me doing something very repetitive, which I'm sure I'm sure we'll run into. Goodness, this takes forever to cast. And what other parts do I need for an excavator, by the way? Um, always get the wrong one for whatever reason. I'm gonna need a hard plate as well as one of those. Hmm. Okay, I think the plate I'll make out of paper and the binding out of, pr no, the plate out of prismarine, the binding out of paper. Yeah, that'll do. You can tell that this is not a tool I planned for. Uh, where is my paper? There is my paper. Okay, tough binding. Almost out of paper, but it's fine. And I should still have some prismarine in here. Yep. Just give it a go. There we go. All right, and now we have our tough rod over here. And make us a scabby. Yep. Four modifiers, pretty good stats. I'd say that's a nice excavator for us. All right, let's dig some maintenance corridors. I mean, it's only partially paper. It's only partially paper, only the binding. The binding is probably the most reasonable thing that could be made out of paper, materials-wise. Okay, so... Let's, of course, start our maintenance corridor over... just right next to where we already have some things dug. Yeah, there's our pass-through. So we can just dig down right there. And get on into it. Don't touch the power lines with your face. And yet we're just going to have to dig a trench through the beach until we reach dirt, I think. Okay. Ah, good. We still have dirt overhead. I'd like to kind of leave the lands a bit untouched, you know? Leave nice kind of natural terrain overhead and do most of the heavy industrial work underground out of sight. So, there we go. Just dig straight on over. Turn F7 mode on so that we can tell when it's time to start leaving new torches. And I don't think I'm going to keep all that dirt. Yes, the, the call of the void is just kind of pre-built in. Whenever you get yourself close to those electric lines, they seem to magnetically draw you in, don't they? Uh, digging near the beach is always going to be a problem. You know, I could use some of the dirt to fill in the, the ceiling. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. It'll probably leave like a line of dirt through obvious beach territory, but it'll do. Tools are a bit too fast to get accurate digging all the time. Ah, uh, yes. Also, I'm seeing that I'm interrupting the Great Enlightenment project. We're going to have to fill that in once we're done with this. I really wish that dynamic lighting wouldn't interrupt F7 mode. 
Oh well. Okay. Just fill it all in. It's fine. We can connect it a bit more naturally at this point, I guess. There. Good enough. And this kind of gives it a natural out-of-the-way entrance. It's, it's like those, uh... What do they call them? Those corridors that they dig under, like, Disneyland and Disney World? To keep the way that employees move around out of sight? Utilidors, I think? We're making our magic utilidors, yes. Okay. And you know, I probably should have moved the pump jack so I knew exactly where I need to run the power to, but oh well. Let's just get all that garbage out of our lives, not the tripes. Should I keep peak? Eh, nah. Okay. Now. Upon which part of the ground do I want to start running my relays? I guess I'd like them higher up just to avoid the implicit problems of, you know, zapping. As well as to give it more room. Eh, well, it needs to be... I, I guess it needs to be, like, solidly down here for when it gets into the pump. Let, let's, let's decide that when we when we get the pump jack down, if it needs to be down there low. Let's start, like, here. Yeah. So, click on that. Now, can we run it the full length before we need to, or will it droop down to the ground? So, over there. Over there. Yeah, it droops a little bit, but... Okay, so, we just need to keep in mind that Stick to the left. Stick to the left side of the walls when you're in the utilidors. Solid plan, I'd say. Okay, and now we have to be careful because this wire is going to be live pretty soon. Hmm. How to get it off of there? Okay, I think I need to change how this relay is laid out. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Maybe if I... Okay, can I run it all the way from there? That's probably gonna clip through that wall. Yeah, that will, okay. So, then line it up to there. Yeah, that's better. By all means, by all means do, Mr. Fancy Schmancy, and hello there, hello, hello. Yes, everyone watching the channel, I have shouted out Mr. Fancy Schmancy before. I've I've borrowed some ideas from his own series. Can I sneak under this? Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. So, by all means, check out Mr. Fancy Schmancy's channel when you see this in the playlist. I will... I'm reminding myself, I think, for the third time to link his channel if I haven't before. Okay. There we go. And now just kind of restore the terrain. Keep everything out of the way as much as possible. Okay, there we go. 
And let's just run over and make sure that we haven't left any dark spots in the terrain that we've interrupted. Yeah, it... I, I was just kind of lazily filling in the ceiling here. I, I guess I could restore a more natural terrain shape. Well, that's just the supplies I had on hand, but... There we go. Okay. So... Are these wires now live? I'm not going to test it with my face. We'll test it with a pump jack. Yes, just the right amount of unsafe. In the name of safety to boot. Uh, yes, pass-throughs. Uh, what you do is... If I can get any old block. I think it works with any solid block. If you... Take two HV wire, well, two of any wire connector, and you put one on the top and one on the bottom. Then you can take your hammer and right-click it. And you see how that put a little a little black uh, square on that? That is a pass-through. And that works on any sides that are opposite of each other. So, like, if I... I think I did one over on the side of my wall to get into the into the base through the initial uh, through the windmill. Yeah, like up there, that is a pass through leading to the windmill, and uh, you can see that in, it interrupts connected textures, but otherwise, it's probably the most inobtrusive way to get power through walls. Okay, let's move that pump jack. Let's also put this copper in a proper box just to keep it weightless. There we go. So much stuff. But... Uh, capacitors... I mean, if you've already built your walls so that capacitors fit them better, then they might be less obtrusive than breaking connected textures. But that kind of depends on your decor. Which I know for you is very important, because you are indeed the fanciest schmanciest of us. Mm hmm And supposedly, pass-through blocks are supposed to be insulated. But I've seen that really not working. Like, the wires coming off of them, they're a different color. And... I don't know, the damage seems reduced, but you still take damage if you rub your face up on them. So I don't know if they're properly insulated or not. Either way, I'm not going to chance it as much as possible. And yeah, having capacitors everywhere does help with power, but I want my capacitors over on my diesel engines themselves in order to help with power management. Because um, I did confirm that capacitors will... Uh, they will give redstone off of a comparator. If you put a comparator on them, the comparator will output redstone based on the uh, charge of the capacitor. So, since diesel engines themselves can be controlled with a redstone signal, uh, putting your capacitors over on your diesel generator will kind of build in automatic controls for your diesel generators just very easily. All you need to do is run a comparator off of the... Let's tear down our power lines while we're here. All you need to do is run a capacitor... Or, or, or run a comparator off of that capacitor. And then run cable on down to the redstone controls of the diesel engine. And that'll take about five spaces. 
So then when your capacitor is about two thirds full, your diesel generator will just shut itself off. And that's a pretty damn convenient, easy control. Okay, put away some of the inordinate amount of junk we've been picking up. Okay, over in there. It's going to be time to paste some of our wood chips pretty soon. And get rid of that. Let's put these and these away, just in case we ever want LV wire for whatever reason. Maybe I'll want it for lighting systems or something. Okay, let's also get some building blocks in case I need to even out terrain for the pump jack. Those will do. All right, so it's pretty obvious where the pump jack chunk is now. Goodness, these jungle trees just do not want to die. Was it growing in... Okay. Oh, it was just that branch. It was linked up to, like, one of the wood logs. Wait, no. We do have a tree growing out of the sign. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the problem there is that... Um, the capacitors only, or the diesel generators only really have one speed, and that is go. So if they're getting like, if they're getting like, um, I don't know, 3,000 power draw, and they generate 5,000, they're going to be just wasting fuel. And they'll be like stuttering. I, I don't think they'll be stuttering on and off if it's, if it's drawing per tick. They'll just be blasting out at full power and not, uh, and, and wasting some of their potential. This way, instead, they will stutter on and off at full power and then at no power. Huh, we got some cocoa beans. Neat. I guess those show up on dynamic trees if they get big enough. Okay, well. Rebuild the pump jack. Where's the fullness of this chunk? There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's kind of build it right here. Let's build it into the corner of the chunk. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Stop. Okay, corner piece, three by three. Put the dang box down. Okay, corner piece, three by three. I also remember I'm gonna need a T of, of uh, these. And eh, let's just take the shovel off. What side was the corner piece on? That side, okay. So over there, and then a three by three. And then it was a T-shape, followed by the additional three like that. And then I'm starting to learn how this goes. Get up there. Refill my belly. But yeah, the, the diesel generator will shut itself off if, like, it fills up a capacitor and there isn't any more draw. But if there's a constant draw from something like pump jacks or, or uh, excavators or whatever, they'll just be blasting constantly regardless of if they're utilizing their power fully or not. And that's no good, at least in my opinion. I mean, okay, diesel is plentiful. 
it's okay, but... Okay. Da, 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 da. Heavy over there. And I think that just goes all the way up. Yeah, it do. And then it's just the scaff the uh, sheet metal, forgive me. And over there. All the way out. And then down. And that should do it. Turn F9 mode off. There it goes. There we go. Hmm. Do I want... I kind of want to move it one, one space forward just in case it needs redstone on... Eh, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It will be fine. I thus command it. Okay, so... We now know that we want the power to be here. So let's dig our utilidor down over in this area. Just like so. Yeah, and we shouldn't have lowered the terrain right there. We'll just deal with it being a little bit janky looking. Okay. And it's a good thing we brought building blocks. Get out of here, all you. Yep, let's just kind of run it on over. If I want to pretty up the terrain later, I will. I probably won't. Okay, there we go. And just leave it down there. And, yeah, let's raise that up a little bit. Just over to there. Hmm. No. Wrong level. Okay, so it does need to be raised down to there. Yeah, yeah, we'll test it when we hook it up. I'm on to you. I'm on to your tricks. I'm not going to fall for that one again. Okay, so where's our pass-through going to be? Pass-through is going to be over here. And over here. And that is, god damn it, all the sand getting in all the places. It's coarse and rough and it gets everywhere. Okay, yeah, that is a confirmed working pass-through. And hook that up. And now I should be able to put a connector there and a connector there, there to there, and there to there. And it looks like we don't have power. Unless it only outputs when it can output fluid. No, we don't have power. So, where's the break? Let's get the voltmeter. Really, I should just finally stop being lazy and build that damn thermionic fabricator in order to build myself a bag so I can have all my tools on hand at all times. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, that's dead. So, where is the break? Get into our utilidor. Hmm. 
Okay. You aren't reading at all. I guess it doesn't read pass-throughs. Can I build path up here? Yeah. And I should probably... Oh, boy. We have a weeping angel. Somewhere is missing light. Well, turn it daytime and run away. Don't get tagged. I haven't been tagged by a weeping angel yet, and I have no intention of starting. So what's the problem? Did it just run the capacitor dry? Is that the problem? It might have. Yeah, because it would be running... Yeah, that's the problem. It ran the capacitor dry. Okay, okay. Our connections should still be good, though. So if I just there, yeah, there, now it's starting to fill up. And over there, yep, I can see the pump jack running. Sweet, all right. So now just restore our tables once more into their proper place. Ow, yep, that, li that wire is live, all right. <sighs> Glad that's confirmed. Two, three. One, two, three. Yep. Move that. And now we just need, let's put it all into one storage crate for right now. Just like, yeah, so. And there we go. Careful not to touch the cables with your stupid face. There, that also serves as a little bit of additional safety Makes it harder to reach that power cable area. Okay, now let's see. How is... Oof. Oh, boy. Okay. I need to hunt down some more aluminum and... Uh, and make myself like that... That shock suit. What? Why is pollution rising up? Is that filter jammed already? Yeah, it is. Okay. This is why we need Buildcraft. This is why we need Buildcraft yesterday. Okay. Let's... Yeah. My armor is just good enough to save me from stupidity once. So, as long as I remember to heal up before I stick my tongue against the power cable again, I'll be okay. So, how does this do? Oh, right, I haven't run those yet. Oh, right, the power cable would be in the way. Oh, right, we need to move the whole damn line of tables. It's fine. Don't touch the power cables. But yes, you can see exactly why I'm doing my best to keep those as far out of the way as possible. Because, uh, yeah, high voltage insulation ain't a thing. I could insulate medium and low voltage, not high. They're so tasty, though. That is the one, right? Right. Okay, cool. So, down there. And... There. I think I partially phased through the hoppers for a moment there. 
some rest. Where, where's the other tables? I could have sworn I picked up. Did they end up? Ah, there they are. There they are. Okay. Da, da, da. Da, and dupe. And now we can run this on in here. And now when we give it power once more, we should have a lovely amount of, I need one more. Yeah. Well, the good news is that we pretty much have Buildcraft right now. All I need to do is just build some of it. So yeah, I don't need to bother with stacking up multiple filters. I don't need to bother with any of that. I can just, I can just get it going properly right away. They tell you not to drink it, but what if I start freezing up? I mean, hypothermia has been a constant threat in this pack. Really, if I had some sweet, delicious antifreeze, I might be alive a lot more. There we go. Okay, now all it needs is constant power. Which we are about to achieve. I need more liquid pipe. I should have got more than one. I'm also going to need a lever. Because, yeah, I'm going to create a filling station for gasoline so that I can start making some build craft. Because that is the next step. So just grab some of these. That's fine. Hello, Ian. Welcome to the stream. Ah, good. I have a lever. Right now, we just finished running. Uh, we just finished running some power lines. We've relocated our pump jack to a new place that's more in line. I need to finish running it to the base. But yes, we have the uh, utilidor system. We're running tunnels under the ground to keep the power lines out of our face when we're running over land. And right now, I can't be running my power very much because it immediately clogs up. And once it clogs up, it starts producing pollution up there. So we can't be having that. We need to create automation for this thing. So which one of these is gasoline? So I am searching up some gasoline in order to get some build craft, some very basic build craft at the moment. And I believe that these things input from the top, don't they? Let me... Yeah, input on the top. So we can just put that there, and then I can put a lever over on there. And that should just immediately fill this thing up with gasoline. So we... Only almost. Only almost. Almost only counts with hand grenades and horseshoes. We're fine. And you know, now the power lines are nice and out of the way. And that's in an area where I really don't need to go very often. So yeah, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> I'll just keep telling it to myself and eventually it'll be true. These wood chips are an insistent problem. Okay, da, 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 da. into there. You get out of my face. All of you get out of my face. Da, 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 da. You too. Okay. Is there anything in this crate? No. Okay, so in order to get some basic build craft automation going, I'm going to need a piston which I can't really pull right now because I don't have any light engineering blocks. I'm also going to need this gasoline over here. So, 
I'm going to need to make some more light engineering blocks. That's fine. Uh, I want the light engineer. I want all the engineering blocks to be to be done already. Okay, eight of those, eight of those. A bunch of redstone, right? No, a bunch of, yeah, iron and copper. Six iron, two copper. That should do it. Okay, there we go. And now we have that, that, as well as that and those that will make a piston jei seems to be causing a lot of lag i have to look into what's causing that okay so from there we can yeah we're gonna have to destroy the lava in order to put sweet, sweet, delicious gasoline into here. So, first we need to make a redstone engine. The redstone engine serves as the thing that pumps buildcraft pipes and forces them to output. So, we're going to need some of these wood gears. That's just sticks. Like so. And we're just gonna need a piece of glass and three wood. Yeah. Buildcraft itself is cheap. The only thing that's expensive about it is needing the gasoline in order to build it in this pack. Kit. Glass, please. All right, so. And the pistons. The pistons are the most expensive thing. Oh, it doesn't accept those? Or does it not accept clear glass? Can I convert clear glass into just glass glass? Hmm. Well, first of all, let's test if it's just not accepting that wood. Because I think clear glass should be ore dictionary, but no, it's not accepting the glass. Okay, that's interesting. Thankfully, we have a piece. Okay, redstone engine, get. Next, we're going to need some pipes. And I think I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm just going to void. I'm going to need a void pipe. So I'm going to need some black dye. Because a void pipe... Just uses ink sac and redstone as well as some more glass. Hmm. Do I have any regular old sand? Not looking like it. Let's get that while we're out. Thankfully some squid. Let's get our diving tank. If nothing else, the face mask will help with... Um, will help with the murky waters. Get on there. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move that when we wire it up to high voltage. Get the base a bit more OSHA safe. Okay, where are some squids? You know, I haven't seen many squids spawn in here. Hmm. Is there any other source of ink sacks? You know where I have seen squid spawn? I've seen squid in the abyss. Yeah, I, I've seen squid swimming around in the abyss. Like right near the level of uh, Mr. Pufferfish. Come on, lag. At 
At least I'm pretty sure I've seen squid around down here. Hmm. Well, if all else fails, then... If all else fails, then we can just put it on... But nah, here we are. Here are some squiddy boys. And there. Yeah. And that's going to be worth tons of void pipe. Ugh. Really, I'm going to need a night vision potion to hunt squid properly down here. But still, that is enough to get us by for a little while. Oof. I wonder why teleporting dehydrates you so. Maybe it's like movement. Like dehydration seems to look for how fast and how far you're moving. Maybe it sees that you've changed position really quickly so it presumes that you just hyper sprinted. Regardless, I forgot to get some sand while I was out. Let's just dig this up. It's fine. And yes, it does need to be sand sand because I need to cook it into Minecraft glass. Let's just flatten a section of beach. All right. And I determined that there must have been a spawnable area somewhere around here, didn't I? Because we had an encounter, a close call with a weeping angel. Just get rid of you two, yeah. So where's the light disruption here? Oh, it's in town, okay. Someone in town must have upgraded their house and, up and uprooted a torch. Looks like the glass blower. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure we'll spot more. Oof. But yes, unfortunately, the village is a little bit chaotic. Every time they upgrade a building, there's a couple of torches that get pulled up somewhere. Okay, so let's build us those pipes. In fact, it has to be Minecraft glass. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's a good reason to make sure that uh, you eventually get a silt excavator running. Why aren't you... It looked like it was draining out somehow. Hmm. Regardless. It's not quite eight, but who cares? And you can go. You can go too. You can stay technically, but not in my pocket. Never in my pocket. Never again. Okay. There. And um, there's a couple of different extraction pipes you can use. I personally favor wood diamond because they come with the ability to filter and they're faster. And all it costs you is some diamonds. And diamonds are nothing. So, redstone like this. Void pipe. And wood diamond like that. And that's all we need to automate all of our filters for the moment. Oh. Hmm? Oh, you tried to swear and YouTube didn't let you? I'm sorry. I don't have any settings that I have uh, flipped. 
I'm all for allowing free speech however you goddamn want it. Eh. It's fine. Oh, right, and I'm also gonna need a redstone block. Or a redstone torch, or I, I need a source of redstone signal. We'll just grab a block, it's fine. Okay, exciting times. The first build craft pipe. The first of very, 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 very many. Okay. So, after much research and much frustration, I found out that built, that pollution just passes straight through build craft pipes. So just placing it like this. So, build, build craft pipes, the way that they work, is the they have various different behaviors. You need different pipes for extracting than you do for simply running items through, and the various different pipes that run things through have different behaviors. In this case, I have a wood diamond extraction pipe, which is just like a regular wood pipe. That would be just two pieces of wood around glass, except it can be filtered. It has whitelist and blacklist and round robin and all that as well as the fact that it goes a little bit faster than a wood pipe. And here I have a void pipe, which any items that go into it just get destroyed. So this is just a trash chute, and that means that now I can run this, hopefully forever. Let's stick around and see if we can spot it getting jammed. It shouldn't take very long with how fast this thing produces pollution. But yes, the redstone engines are right now are, are the most expensive part of build craft in this pack because they require pistons and pistons are expensive in this pack. But they are just, ah, yes, you see it's heating up. They are required to pulse the pipes in order to make them output. Now redstone engines are the low tech version. Eventually what I'm gonna wanna use is pipe pulsers, which are gonna require build craft lasers. Ah, yes, there we go. Oh boy, okay, there we don't go. So, I need to move the hopper so that it's sitting on top of it in order to block it on the occasions that, uh, that it's pumping. I need building blocks, let's just use the wool. Yeah, so now, now, if another piece of pollution comes up while it is busy pumping out, it should block it there just long enough. And that should be fine. There we go. And that should be everything we need for an automated, for an automated filtration system for this thing. And now we can just simply run this forever. Yes, um, unfortunately, unfortunately I have no way, as far as I can tell, of switching my OBS overlay to live chat. Yes, I, I can at least switch my, um, hmm. Yes, I can switch my on my OBS viewer to live chat. Huh. Ah, there you go. Yeah, fuck OSHA. <laughs> well, they try to help. They don't always succeed, but they try. Wait, do I have anything in here? Yeah, I do still. That's fine. And now let's take a look at how fast this thing is running. It's running pretty fast. I might want to give it a higher ratio of gears to ingots, but meh. Just as long as it has some gears being output. Just so that I has them. And don't need to cast them myself. Okay, so now we have all the copper for a little while. So, 
time to start deciding what our next project should be. Yeah, god dang. Very, very fast. Feels good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hears ya. Yeah, let's put these in here for now. So, next project. Next project. Um... I have a couple of options for what the next project should be. Wait, red right inside the base? Oh, the charcoal burner. I must have forgot to put lights back on inside the one of the charcoal burners. Yeah, inside the forestry one. No, that's not it. Where are you, Zombo? You look like you're under this? You're on the roof, okay. How is a zombie on the roof? Mystery zombie. Oh yeah, yeah, I should make another, I should make some more redstone blocks and make a automation for that one too. Well, we just have a, is there a hole under the floor somewhere? Forgive me, I'm getting a call. Ah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. That was just a spam caller. Annoying. I have no idea how it's not shown up till now. Okay, so it has to be over there somewhere. Aha! Found you. And now that area is flooded, so it should be fine. Okay. Crisis averted. Where's all this? Ah, there it is. Decor restored. Yeah, that was bizarre. Okay, so on to the next project. Let's create a quick automation for the roof. So I'm just gonna need my mechanical parts. I'm gonna need a ton of redstone. I'm gonna need a little bit of iron and copper. I'm gonna need to smash a bit of iron. No, I don't think I have water flowing sounds going. And even if I do, that's kind of in the area, oops. That's kind of in the area with uh, the soaking pots and the pump, so it's kind of thematic. If it starts driving people nuts, I'll go and fix it. But I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Yep, time for more pistons. Time for one more piston to be specific, just for the moment. Okay, and that means red. Oh, 
That means I need to empty out the gasoline from this thing. That's tragic. Yeah, we need more engineers workshops is what we really need. Eh, not right now. I don't feel like doing the cog dance. The purple on my pick, that is a reinforcement that reduces durability drain. Stop. Don't waste all the lava. Okay. And we need to waste it again. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, we really need two engineering stations. Okay, so now we need eight of these in order to make these. And then I'm going to need a piece of glass and three more wood. Just like so. Hmm? What freeze? I don't think the game has froze recently. Okay, and now just some quick building blocks. Just get on up there. And right there. Uh. Don't let the crew play with us. Okay, can we... Yeah, that's the downside of pillaring up indoors, isn't it? Okay, now I believe I should be able to get this on there. And yeah, just run it straight down. And now I'm going to have to move on over. Ah, shoot, I forgot a redstone block. I forgot a redstone block. It's fine. Okay, and now I should be able to do, ah, shoot. Okay, so, eh, it's gonna disrupt the roof a little. It's fine. No, actually, wait, I can put it on this side, can I? I think that works. And, uh, yeah, don't do that. I need to flip that around to its proper configuration. But that should work. Can't see what color it's turning, if it's turning any color at all. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see if that works. Yeah, yeah, Gru, I hear ya. We'll fix our staircase before that drives me nuts, even though I'll never see it. Yep, we're dealing with it. We are dealing with the pollution, once and for all. Can I see the redstone engine anywhere in here? Aha! It is indeed. It has signal. Okay. So now we never need to swap the filter on our roof again. It's just... It's just passive. Oh, that's a glorious feeling. Hmm. Might need to move that redstone block around in case it's blocking... Traffic. Oh well. Now here's a freeze. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, if, if there was a JEI freeze, I, I've grown so accustomed to it, I didn't notice it. Okay, now, time to start deciding on our next project. Um, there are two options for what the next project could be. The first option would be we start working on a build craft refinery to start building us some fuel. If I was building a build craft refinery, I think I would want to make a cobble gen so that I can start working on building the platform for the main bus base. And to do that, we would need to make redstone breaker. No, we would need to make project red breakers. These block breakers. They're a bit expensive, but not much. Yeah, uh, that, that's the other option, Prince. I'm getting to it. Yeah, the big thing is they would cost these casings, which cost a lot of engineering blocks and a lot of bronze. Um, the other option we have is indeed the excavator. And in order to do the excavator well, I'm going to want build craft. So that would be the next project after the excavator. But I think I want to do the excavator first just so that I can get my hands on all the redstone. Because chunking up these redstone blocks, nah, do not like it. No likey. So, we're going to start working on the excavator. So, what do we need to do to get us a scavy, a scavy vader? We're going to need a lot of steel sheet metal, a lot of steel scaffolding, surprisingly few engineering blocks. But a, an excavator comes in two parts. It comes in this main engine block, and it also comes in this this big old magic bullshit pinwheel, which is going to require nine additional blocks of steel. So that means it's time to get on the old steel production chain once more. Uh, why do we need a cobble generator? Because I am running out of space in this house. I do not have the room in this little house for all of the... Uh, all of the machines we're going to be building. All the very big machines we're going to be building. So, I need to make a big platform quickly. And I need... he's Ian has it exactly right. I need building blocks. And I'm not going to be able to buy it from the Normans. Yes, we need more coal. I know. We're going to get more coal. We're working on it. Right now we need more steel though. So we're working on that first. Just getting it running. So yes, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a cobble gen in order to build the big bullshit platform to build all the big boy automation. And for that I'm gonna need thousands upon thousands of cobblestone. I'm not gonna bother the Normans for it. They wouldn't be able to keep up with my demand. Not anymore. Sadly, we have grown completely beyond the Normans. You keep that in here. Why not wood from the big trees? That is exactly what I'm getting wood from the big trees for. Or that's exactly where I'm going to be getting my, my charcoal from. Where did you think I was going to be getting it from? Did I imply that I would be doing something different for my charcoal? What do you two think I'm talking about? Where's my miscommunication here? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be cutting down... I'm gonna be cutting down some trees in order to get more charcoal here. What, do you, do you think I'm gonna need... Do you think I'm working on the excavator for coal? Oh, why not the big trees as building blocks? Um, I'm not sure if they're compatible with... Let's see here. Uh, do I have... I have a bit of money on me. What does the train blueprint cost? Uh, where is Austin's supercar? Okay, here we go. No, they're not really expensive. It's fine. Here. Sell me the track blueprint, please. Oops. Yeah, just vomit that in your face for a moment. It's fine. Okay, so what does the railbed fills? 
Do they accept Sequoia Wood? Uh, I mean, technically they do. I don't know, though. Sequoia Wood is really heavy. I don't think it looks terribly good as a platform material. It doesn't accept the planks or any of their chiseled forms. Oops. God damn it. Sorry, technical difficulties on my end. No, I don't I don't think I like that as a platform block. I think I'd prefer the cobblestone simply because I can chisel it. And also, I think that I'll be able to generate it a lot faster, a lot easier. So yeah, I think cobble gen is gonna be the way to go. And those traps aren't that expensive other than the nano machine frames, which once I have a build craft assembly, I'm gonna build myself something to help with that, I think. No, oh, it's fine. Okay, those 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 traps. Yeah, they're they're gonna cost machine frames. That's a bit expensive. They're gonna cost pistons. That's a bit expensive. That hardened casing. That's a bit expensive. The red alloy ingot is cheap. The rest of it's cheap. So yeah, it costs a bit, but you don't need very many of them. I reckon I'm only going to need like three or four of those block breakers in order to get a cobble gen that will generate me infinite cobble, essentially. It's an investment, but it's an investment you only need to make once. It's fine. And really, other than the machine frames, none of it is tough to craft once you have the resources up. And once we have the excavator up, we will essentially have most of what we need. I mean, if I need more steel, I can cut down trees or I can move the pump jack. I can build an additional pump jack and move them over into my steel plant refinery idea I had. If I need more... If I need more iron, there's some liquid iron sources or I could chunk it up from ships. I, I have the resources to build relatively quickly here. It's just the cog dance making the machine frames as tough for those traps. And that's really not a huge deal. I can, now that I have access to build craft, I can automate most of it. We're entering into an era where we're gonna have to start thinking of new definitions of what's expensive. And it's gonna be expensive in terms of what we don't have automated and what's difficult to automate. Yeah, look at it. Beautiful shower of wood. Okay. Indeed, very satisfying. Especially when we're going to immediately start burning all of it. It makes the pyromaniac inside of me very happy. Hmm. Wow, I just got showered with wood and now I have a pyromaniac inside of me. Tonight is very interesting. Okay. And that wood will just be kind of... It'll be falling down for a few minutes. All the sticks from all the leaves will be falling for a few minutes. This area will be flush with resources for a little while. I mean, I never said a man. I just said a pyromaniac. You're the one making assumptions there. Okay. Yep, just immediately chunk these up into fire logs. Ah, uh, yes, let's also put this away for the moment, just so it's not cluttering up our inventory. I really should stop being lazy, make that thermionic fabricator so I can make a bag. And I want the excavator as my next project. I want that excavator. I want the resources. Then redstone engineering blocks will be so much easier. 
Because we have infinite copper, we have infinite redstone. Yeah. Not in the mirror. Not sure what that's in response to. Um, yeah, let's run this out of town, too. I don't have the glue to run this right now. Hmm. I mean, with Buildcraft, I could start making automation for better automation for liquid coal and all that. Eh. Not yet. Not when I have to swap it back and forth between all that. Not when I... Uh, we need more infrastructure. We need more infrastructure. Right, and I have steel in my smeltery that I need to pour out. Uh, I want this in block form. Because we're going to need nine blocks of steel for the excavator. Okay. Goal this set. Our goal here is to get at least 16 saplings, but just whatever other resources are showering down upon us are, of course, opportunities. Ah, uh, yes, I should have put my arrows in my hand so that their XP tank refilled. Oh well. We need more sand, yeah, yeah. Well, more sand we could get from the excavator. Wait, what do we need more sand for in the meantime? I don't think I need sand for anything at this exact moment, do I? I need it for more build craft, but... Hmm. Yeah, that can just... Get in there. Get out of here. Okay, so start working on the old scavy boy. First of all, we're going to need a ton of redstone engineering blocks. And for that, I'm not sure if I have much in the way of mechanical components left. No, I don't. So I need to get working on those, too. Mm. Just start... Moving that out there. Okay, how many steel blocks do I have in storage right now? Not much. Only need two more, though. After that, we'll switch it to... We'll switch it to plate mode. Ah, oh, no, okay, we have some iron plates in here. I must have casted those a while ago. Yes, we just need more of everything. Then we'll be fine. Simple sol- Oh, wait, not in here. Not in here. Uh, three, four. Yeah, let's just turn it all into, into components. All of it. We just need more of everything. Why didn't I think of that? Yep, and once again, I really need a second engineering workstation. Ah, I didn't really get into those when they were popular. I, I've been tempted to watch Arby and the Chief just because I hear it's so good. But, uh, ye. Okay, we need more iron. More iron ingots. We need more iron, period. Okay, how you doing? How you doing? You're doing good. Let's turn that off. And let's switch it to plate casting mode. Ah, you're already in plate casting mode, derp. 
And let's switch it to the iron. And just... Well, no, no, no. I need, I need ingots right now, don't I? I need ingots. Yeah. I have enough components. I need ingots. Well, this will at least save us having to hammer it by hand. And it means that if I let it run over and it gets into the steel, then that's fine, because steel ingots is generally the form that I want. Okay, so there's our nine blocks of steel for the wheel. Hey, it rhymes. Next, it's going to need 20 scaffolding. And that'll just be done with the wheel. Oh, also, I have... Like, when I was doing all these quests... Like, I, I get why I don't have the metal press. It's just because I need to pick up some conveyor belts. But this thing, it demands 33 scaffolding slabs. When the distillation tower only requires 30. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, I, I guess that I can just do that real quick. Just for the sake of the quest. But yes, uh, beware for those of you who are playing along at home. When you when you do the quest for the distillation tower in the quest book, it needs additional slabs. I should probably bring that up to Austin Supercar. But yeah, I think I can recraft these just into yeah. So there's no gonna there's gonna be no loss here. It's no big whoop. Let's get some more lava cooking. And in the meantime, let's run some more steel. Just into scaffolding, I need tons anyway. Uh, listening to music, and I actually found this machinima. And then, ah, okay, nice. Yeah, inside jokes. Always the best thing to share with other people who have no idea what you're talking about. I don't blame you. It's fine. Okay. Now, is that what we need? Uh, 20 is, you know, we should start. Yep. Excavator in a box. The new, the new madness exploring the nation. Okay, so back to excavator. No, not the, yeah. There we go. So that needs 20 of those and nine of those. So, we has wheel. Next, for the excavator unit itself, we're going to need six more scaffolding, 15 sheet metal. Uh, yeah, I don't have any of those, so I just need to take more of these ingots. Make more. I think I only need to make one set. It comes six at a time, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so there's our six scaffolding. We can put those away. An ungodly amount of sand. Well, you know, we're unironically going to need an ungodly amount of sand sooner or later. Let's also, just for the sake of the quest, there we go. Yeah, that solves the metal press. I don't think any of these have rewards. It's just it's just part of the checklist for this down here. If you made all the machines listed, you may continue. If not, don't cheat. It's so tempting to cheat, but no, we will hold off. We 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 kind of need to work up to it anyway. It's fine. Because I'm being lazy about that thermionic fabricator. Uh anyway, what's next? What's next? Sheet metal. I might need to cast some more steel sheets. No, wait, wait, wait. There it is. There it is. We have some. It's fine. Clipley? Hmm. I feel like I'm I'm not in on the joke. Uh, da, 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 15 of them. 4, 8, 12, 16. No, wait. If I just do 3, then I'll... Yeah. There's 15 exactly. Huzzah! Hmm. 
Okay. So, next it needs a single redstone engineering block, nine light, and five heavy. Okay, so, we're gonna need to make some more light engineering blocks. Well, let's, let's work our way down. So, the five heavies. I have some in, so I only need to make one craft of heavy engineering blocks. That means I'm gonna need four light engineering blocks to make the pistons. So let's get on that. And these are the mechanical components, of course. And there we go, two, four. That should make the pistons. Wait, what does heavy engineering blocks cost? Yeah, it just cost pistons. Doesn't cost any additional engineering blocks. Okay, and we can put those away. Next, we're gonna need a bunch of cobble and just a bunch of wood and make us pistones. Oh, <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, lava, of course. Yeah, you're still making, cool. Yes. I feel sad for all the lava and gasoline that we've wasted, but oh well. Yeah, I, I didn't notice Mr. Clippy over there. Eh. Dear God. The Google eyes. Hideous. He wants to help, but we don't want him to. Okay, so next I'm gonna need five of my Electrum. I'm almost out of Electrum. Oh boy. And for... For heavy engineering blocks, I'm gonna need bronze gear, steel, and steel mechanical components. I'm almost out of bronze gears. It'll be time for another hunt through the loot chest soon. Or just source some bronze. That's another reason to, uh, that's another reason that I moved my copper pump jack, by the way, is that somewhere around here, I have a tin, a liquid tin deposit. Ah, it was time to do this anyway. Ah, good. We've got our minimum amount of saplings. Goody, goody gumdrops. And that's lava, that's oil over there. I have a liquid tin deposit somewhere near here. At least I could have sworn I did. Well, anyway, I'll search for that, like, later, I guess. Molten silver. Eh. Anyway, somewhere around here I have a liquid tin vein, I think. And that should make easy bronze if I want. All I would need to do is uh, pipe it and the copper together into an alloy uh, mixer. Okay, so. Five heavy engineering blocks get. Check and done. Into there, into there. And now we need nine lights. So we're gonna need five crafts of that. We're gonna need a bunch of those, a bunch of those, probably more of those. We're gonna need probably more iron, which thankfully we have on the cooker. And 
there we go. Yep, need a little bit more iron, but that's fine. That should be fine. Did I forget to hit the switch? I forgot to hit the damn switch. <sighs> that's depressing. That's unfortunate. Thankfully, I don't think we need too terribly much just for this purpose. And that'll be going in the background. Oops. All of it. There we go. I played Valheim uh, not too long ago for the first time, actually. And uh, yeah, the Copper Age, the Bronze Age is definitely a grind. But the jump leading up into the Iron Age, you want to do the grind. Those swamps are no joke. Okay, and it's nine of these, correct? Correct. So then there. Oops, other way around. There and there, please. Yes. Uh, one redstone. And there we have it. We have an excavator in a box. And yep, I am just about out of time today. All right, well, 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 well. Next time we get another unboxing. Well, let's let's double check. Da, 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 da. Let's double check and make sure. Radiator blocks, radiator blocks. Never mind. Never mind. We need a little bit more. But still, that shouldn't be hard. That's just three of these. It's a bunch of liquid pipes. It's a bunch more liquid pipes than those. Uh, keep pouring out that lava, please. And da, 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 da. bunch of liquid pipes. And Brady block. Yeah, I had I had fun today too, Prince. Thank you for stopping by once again. It's always lovely to see you here. And I am going to need more iron and a bit more steel. Mm-hmm. And a bit of copper. Of which we should have all the copper now. Yeah. Okay, and there's our three radiator blocks. Just the three of them, right? Just the three. Well, that's why you double check. All right, so now we have an excavator in a box going up next time. We have glorious power done this time. And oh, yep, we've been running that this whole time. Let's see just how fast the copper has been pouring in. Do we have a full box yet? We have a full damn box. Yep, this thing is just running. But the pump jack is still pumping. That's potentially something I don't like. I want the... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ow. Good thing we can still take it even without the full tank set. I potentially don't like that, though. Let's... I don't have any more levers, do I? I'm going to have to go hunting for a lever sooner or later. In the meantime, let's just get some torches. Let's also make sure to top up my health just in case I lick the power line again. And yeah, let's shut that off for the meantime. Does that not work? Oh boy, we need we need to get a lever. But we'll get a lever next time. In the meantime, yeah. We've been running this diesel generator. I think that pollution is just what piled up that one time the filter clogged. In the meantime, it's just been running. We have probably built up a wonderful excess of diesel. Yeah. Oh no, it's actually running down a little bit. Huh. Okay. I thought we were producing excess. Oh, is it because it's because the gasoline is clogged? Okay. Well. I will think of a solution for that next time. In the meantime, thank you, Prince. Thank you, Blood Devon. Hello, the Terrible Trivium. I'm sorry you're coming in right at the end of the stream. 
Uh, I, I hope you all had fun today. I certainly did. Everyone, have yourselves a beautiful day. Have yourselves a lovely evening. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>